Hi there my dear followers and fans. As my YouTube channel seems to be rapidly approaching the number of 3000 subscribers, today I still have the time to make one quick video because this beauty just hatched. It's a moth that's found in Korea, Russia and China mainly. The uh, Bramea tankrai, also known as the Siberian owl moth. And as you can see it's Almost psychedelic looking wing patterns are stunning and amazing. Um, what's interesting this Bramea tankrai here is a member of the family uh, of the Brameidae. A family of moths that I have neglected a little bit on my YouTube channel. Well, I breed a lot of moths and, I sure, and I'm sure all of you will know because you are my viewers and you guys know how much I breed. However, I have the tendency to neglect some families of moths, and the Brahmaeidae is one of them. And that's strange, because Brahmaeidae is generally very easy to breed. I raised these guys on Privet, aka Ligustrum, from uh, egg to adult moth, and it was really easy. In fact, almost all Brahmaeidae species are very easy to breed in captivity, and uh, it's one of the reasons you can find them in butterfly farms and in zoos sometimes. Because they're spectacular to show and just that easy to breed, so they're also popular in captivity. And for some reason, I just never bother to breed them. I have some older videos about them, but I think it's one or two videos compared to the 600 videos I have about other moths. So I guess I'm going to try and breed more of them pretty soon, just to show you the nice variation of them. Oops. Looks like this moth has other ideas about this video, it's alright. It's not trying to fly away, it just dropped itself to the floor, it's a defense mechanism. So I guess I'm startling it by handling it. Behave yourself, dude. Um, either way, what I've been trying to say is... Expect to see more moths uh, of this family on my YouTube channel soon. The rarest of them I've already bred though, the Acanthobramae europae. Yeah? I know that's a whole mouthful, also known as the Italian owlet moth or European owlet moth. But that's a whole other story. And what's funny about Bramaea is... Uh, well, first of all they're camera shy, but that's not what I was about to say. What's funny about Brahmaea is how they, uh, in captivity, uh, only eat plants from the family of um, ash tree, including privet and uh, syringa, also known as lilac. I think it's the oleacea, although they may eat, uh, feed on more types of plants in the wild. In captivity you mainly have to feed them privet, ligustrum or ash. Fraxinus or Seringa, also known as Lilac. And it will make for a very easy breeding and I think I have to stop playing with it now because I think it's trying to escape. So, and if the animal's starting to feel stressed uh, and trying to fly away, it's always a good time to end the video. And I think I've shown you enough of this creature already, yep. There's only so many times I can drop this thing in front of a camera. So I'm going to go take it back inside now into his cage. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned to see more awesome moths. Oh. Alright, bye bye.